Once upon a time, in a realm where lush meadows met towering forests, there was a small, bustling village named Everbrook. This village was known for its vibrant markets and the friendly faces of its people, but it was overshadowed by a nearby, mysterious forest. At the edge of this forest stood an ancient, forgotten castle that was said to hold a powerful secret. In Everbrook lived a brave and curious girl named Mira. Mira loved exploring the forest and uncovering its many secrets. Despite the tales of the castle being haunted or cursed, she felt a strong pull towards it. Legends spoke of a magical lantern hidden within the castle's walls, a lantern said to grant a single wish to whoever found it. One crisp autumn morning, Mira decided to venture into the forest with the hope of discovering the truth behind the legends. With a satchel full of provisions and her trusty lantern, she set off into the dense woods. The forest was alive with the rustling of leaves and the chirping of birds, guiding her deeper into the heart of the mystery. As Mira wandered deeper, she came across an old, moss-covered pathway leading to the castle. The castle's grandeur was evident even in its dilapidated state. Its tall spires reached towards the sky, and ivy clung to its ancient stone walls. Taking a deep breath, Mira pushed open the creaking gate and entered the castle grounds. Inside, the castle was silent and still. Dust motes danced in the shafts of sunlight that pierced through the broken windows. Mira carefully explored the castle's grand hallways, her lantern casting warm, flickering light. She encountered faded tapestries and crumbling statues, each telling a story of the castle's once glorious past. In the heart of the castle, Mira found a vast library filled with ancient, leather-bound books and scrolls. Her eyes were drawn to a large, ornate chest in the corner of the room. With a sense of anticipation, she opened it and found a beautifully crafted, golden lantern resting atop a velvet cushion. It was adorned with intricate designs and tiny, glowing gems that pulsed softly. As Mira reached for the lantern, a gentle voice filled the room. I have been waiting for someone with a pure heart, the voice said. Mira turned to see an elegant, ethereal figure emerge from the shadows. It was the spirit of the castle, a guardian who had watched over the lantern for centuries. You have found the lantern of the lost kingdom, the spirit explained. It has the power to grant a single wish to someone who demonstrates true courage and kindness. But be warned, the wish must be made with the utmost sincerity and selflessness. Mira nodded, understanding the gravity of the situation. She thought deeply about her wish. She could wish for personal wealth or fame, but her heart was set on helping others. The village of Everbrook had struggled with poor harvests and dwindling resources for some time, and Mira wished to bring prosperity and happiness to her people. With resolve, Mira took the lantern and closed her eyes. I wish for my village to thrive and be filled with abundance and joy. A soft glow enveloped the lantern, and a warm breeze swept through the castle. The spirit smiled and gently touched Myra's shoulder. Your wish is noble and true. The lantern will fulfill your wish, but remember, it is the unity and kindness of your people that will keep the magic alive. With that, the spirit vanished, and the lantern's light grew brighter. Mira thanked the spirit and made her way back to Everbrook. As she approached the village, she noticed something extraordinary. The once barren fields were now lush with crops, the fruit trees were heavy with ripe produce, and a sense of renewed hope filled the air. The villagers were astonished and overjoyed. They welcomed Mira with open arms and celebrated the newfound prosperity. Mira shared the story of the lantern and the spirit, and the village rejoiced, knowing that their hard work and unity had made the magic possible. From then on, Everbrook flourished. The villagers worked together, their hearts full of gratitude and generosity. They honored the lantern's magic by continuing to care for each other and their land. Mira became a beloved leader in the village, known for her bravery and selflessness. And so, the legend of the Lantern of the Lost Kingdom lived on, reminding everyone that true magic lies not in grand wishes but in the kindness and unity of those who seek to make the world a better place.